Hi, my name is Graham, and this is going to be the Graham and Daddy Show. Today we're going to be unboxing this robot vacuum cleaner. See all the stuff? These are the instructions. Now let's open it. All right, we've got another product uh, that we are testing out for the Insiders Network. Uh, this is the Samsung PowerBot R7070 vacuum cleaner. Pretty excited to try this out. I mean, this is one of those things that no one really needs a robot vacuum cleaner, but it's uh, pretty cool uh, to have and uh, it's probably going to be one of those items that I'm going to keep after the end of the product test. So again, thanks for um, letting me try this out, Insiders. Uh, so. The uh, Samsung PowerBot, there's a line of different um, uh, options. Uh, mainly they vary in suction power, a little bit in the tray capacity, and, and a little bit in the size. Uh, so this is kind of one of the middle of the road ones. It retails for $599. So as Brad Pitt would say, let's see what's in the box. All right, let me see my helper. All right. Open it up. I copied you. <laughs> All right, we've got a lot of padding in here. All right, we've got looks like a power cord. This is, uh, this is a magnetic tape strip that actually you can wall off certain areas that you don't want the vacuum cleaner to go to. This looks like a filter and then the remote. Right, this is the actual vacuum cleaner. And we've got a product registration card. Instruction manual. And the charging station. Okay, let's go through it. Let's open it up. Alright. Let's open it all up, Dad. You got it. All right, it's got some protective film on the base station, the home power recharging station. Can we test it out and make it like a mess? In a minute. Okay. All right. We've got the user manual, and inside there's a uh, quick start guide, the warranty card. Okay, let's take a look at the accessories first. All right, this is the remote control you can see here. Um, it's got power button, uh, button for the uh, vacuum cleaner to immediately go back to the recharging station. You can vary the level of the uh, suction, um, a start, stop button, and then uh, controls. You can actually manually control this uh, uh, vacuum cleaner. Uh, there is no back button, however, you, so if you need to, to put it in reverse, you have to turn it around 180 degrees and then go forward. Um, so there is a spot button. If you have a, a mess in just one area, you can hit that button for it to um, for it to clean. Uh, repeat, sound, uh, schedule, clock, and remote buttons. Alright, let's look at the actual vacuum cleaner. Graham, go ahead and pull that off. Sure. Good job. I'll be right here. Yeah. Under the chair. Alright. Let's open the chair. A lot of protective film. Protective film. Uh, this, yeah. this 
is the tray that holds that holds everything. And this is the you can see inside the tray there's actually a filter on it and it looks like it comes with one additional filter uh, and these can be cleaned um, uh, hand cleaned just by running it under some water just pops in and out pretty easily so you can see on the actual unit itself you've got a start stop button uh, a button to go home um, and then this right here um, not quite sure what that is <laughs> Okay, now this unit actually is um, connected to Wi-Fi, so you can control it with, uh, with Alexa or Google Home. And uh, it has a uh, smartphone app that you can uh, see exactly the path that it's clean, where it needs to clean. You can schedule cleaning, start, stop it, um, pretty, uh, pretty good. And we talked about this already. Um, it doesn't have a lot of it, but there, it's a magnetic strip so that if you want to sort of quarantine off an area that you don't want the robot vacuum cleaner to ever go, um, you can put this down and it, it will sense it and will never go past that area. All right, and here we've actually got the uh, AC adapter and power cable for the home base station and batteries for the remote. All right, so that's about it. Um, Let's get started. <laughs> so in our next video, we'll actually do some testing. We'll put some uh, stuff on the ground, see how it vacuums it up, and and go from there. But yeah, it's a pretty cool product. Um, it, uh, from what I've read, it has. Uh, it is one of the bulkier vacuum cleaners on the market. Um, I think there's only one or two that are higher than this. So if you have very low furniture, it may not be able to go uh, straight underneath it. Um, and you can take a look at, at the bottom of it. All right, so stay tuned for our next video and we can, um, we'll test it out.